Privé message, which closet confidential, or glam cam. And we're out at different dog shows finding people with sensational fashion sense to share their ideas and their points of view on the way they are so fashionable because fashionable people are fabulous as we all know. And so I've run into a good friend of mine, Johan Becerra. He's an all-breed FCI judge and we see him at a lot of our shows in America because he's such a good judge and a wonderful human being. And the thing that we're talking about specifically today is his sense of style. Johan is always impeccably dressed with a point of view on how he views men's fashion. And I'd like Johan to sort of say, give us some of the thought process that goes into putting in a wonderful outfit that looks so good on such a handsome man, oh Johan. God, so share you. that with us. Well, you know, it's um, it has to be easy to wear. So because you're working all day long pretty much, so it has to be comfortable. And, and practical. You know, I use, usually use vest because I don't want my tie to go all the way to the, the nose of the dog. Right. So that keep very easy and clean. And then at the same time, it, it has to be, you know, flexible so you can bend or you can do whatever you need to do at the dog show. So on the other hand, uh, you know, the color is important because if you have like too many colors in it, it wouldn't fit and too little wouldn't be enough. So, you know, it's kind of a mix of things that you think about. And then, you know, easy to pack because you need because to pack. Because nobody and, uh, wants to iron when they get yeah, to dog shows. Yeah. And I've mentioned that a million times. And I've also mentioned our clothes have to be comfortable and serviceable and mix and match. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. you can't put five suits no, in for no, five days. No. You need two suitcases. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, you have to keep it easy. And then I thought, I think that if the people take the time to, you know, groom their dog, groom themselves, well, you know, it's just fair that you take the time to. Well, Johan and I obviously share a very similar point of view on fashion. And notice how Johan has himself together from head to toe <laughs> with a wonderful um, pocket scarf and a tie and texture, texture, texture. I see the texture in the shirt. I see the texture in the fabric of the jacket, but it all works. And Johan is another one whose style probably is a little more European. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And, um, that's a wonderful style for a man with a very slim body like Johan has to be able to show off um, his artistic sense. And I think judging dogs is an art. Oh, it is. It's it a definitely visual is. Art. Yeah, it's and a I visual think that art. dressing yeah. ourselves is a visual I art. I absolutely agree, 100%. And just as you pick a breed of dog because there are things about it that you like, and there are things you like to um, wear because there are things you like, I think that, that that's a very common denominator with people who show dogs, judge dogs. We're very visual about the things that yeah, we do. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we often, I mean, think of the poodle handler and the artistic sense that they have in putting their dogs together yeah, yeah, on a day-to-day -day yeah, basis. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what was your original breed? Basset hounds. And what Basset. breed do you still breed? Basset hounds, you know, it's so a best So, Johan is another um, judge who not only judges, but he breeds as well as many of us do, yeah. which we think gives us a different kind of a point of view with our people who come into the ring because we can empathize. Exactly, because we know how hard it is and how we, much and work it takes. And we've all been embarrassed yeah. and humiliated yeah. in the ring. <laughs> So we know those kinds of things, and we also know from having shown our own dogs at some point in time, the clothes that work. I love the thought. I didn't think that you wore the vest because you're keeping your tie in place. Yeah. I just thought it's a look. <laughs> no, I keep it because of the tie. And you, but it's a very sensible way to do that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because, you know, I think, and some dogs get, get scared. So, you know, you just bend in, and then, you know, it's just messy, I would guess. So, and, and that keep it tight and clean, so it's easy. And to travel with. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah, it's really easy to travel. So you use fabric that doesn't wrinkle. And uh, if you're going to judge white dogs like Sammy's, well, you don't use dark, you use, you know, gray. So kind of those things you have to take Match your colors with your dog. Yeah. Come up with those yeah. kinds of things. And I think another thing that Johan exemplifies to me is the wonderful use of color. You have a color pop in the tie, yeah. and then everything else is sort of very smooth, but you brought everything out <laughs> from the suit yeah. that you yeah. And you do that. That's yeah. how you dress. Yeah. yeah, that's how I dress. And tell yeah. me how you feel about shoes, because those I'm wondering, are they very comfortable? Yeah, really comfortable. You know, you see the they leather shoes, really comfortable, because you're going to be standing all day for five days. So, you know, you, you need something that really, you know, not too tight. Not too wide either because then the feet goes too much. So, you know, and I use it, you always use like boots 
because then it's easy for the pants to, to go all the way down and then you don't There's wrinkle. There's a fashion tip. <laughs> if you wear a, a, an ankle boot, I guess we would call well, them. We, we just like here, right? Yeah, ankle boots. Okay. Then your pant leg will just drape over that and be neat. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you and then you tripping. can do funny things like the laces, you can change the color or something. Yes, we, have, we, have, in, we have interviewed a, a younger handler and he told us he changes his shoelaces with the shoes all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, you can do that too, just to be bit fun. Yeah. But I love your idea of definitely packing has to be clothes that come out of the suitcase, ready to wear. Yeah, absolutely. And looking good. Yeah. yeah and absolutely. things you can wear over and over again. Exactly. And exactly. the whole look, I mean, this is fashion. Ah, thank you. So thank you, Johan, for oh, spending a few minutes with us. thank you for having me. I love it. I really love it. And I think you look wonderful. And, uh, and you're always absolutely amazing. So you know that. You're always awesome. So thank you very much. Well, thank you, Johan. And so till the next time we can bring someone to the Glam Town, it's Elaine Lessig, saying thank you very much for taking the time to meet with Johan and I. And we will see you next time on behalf of the Canine Chronicle on their website and on their Facebook page and, of course, Closet Confidential. <laughs>